Hello again. Uh, it's me, Hans, um, in route from Ed. I just wanted to have a few minutes and uh, have a chat with you about the current situation that we're going through. Um, COVID, COVID um, infections have, have increased drastically in the last couple of weeks after holidays. Uh, we have had to lock down again. That is understandable. Um, and the TASIC has issued communications asking people that if you're not an essential service, if you do not have an essential work, you should not leave home. Um, I can't agree more. I can't agree more. These, these are times that require these extreme measures. Our health system is fragile and we cannot um, overload this health system unnecessarily, especially now that the vaccine is on its way. Guys, this is brilliant news. There's never been a vaccine developed so quickly in the history of medicine, and and we need we need to really thank our governments and and the scientists that were involved in this development of the vaccine for the brilliant job they've done. Um, and that brings another question, which is, can we get vaccinated or not while trying to conceive or during pregnancy? Uh, and that's something I'd like to address. So. Look, there's different types of vaccines in the world. Um, some of these vaccines use what we call an attenuated live virus. This is a virus that has been debilitated in labs uh, and that's inoculated into the humans. Uh, this virus normally, since it has been debilitated, will not cause any infections or any problems in the person receiving that vaccine. But of course, pregnancy can be a different situation. Um, in pregnancy, there is a lowering in our defense mechanisms in the immune system to allow this pregnancy to grow. This immune suppression that is inherent to pregnancy might allow this attenuated virus to go active and cause infections and cause problems. The prime example of these type of vaccines would be the rubella vaccine. And this is the reason why we do not recommend that vaccine during pregnancy. And when you get that vaccine, we recommend not to get pregnant for at least a month after you have taken it. Um, but there's other types of vaccines, uh, other types of vaccines that use parts of the virus. These are parts of the virus that by themselves cannot cause an infection, cannot cause problems in the person receiving it. The COVID-19 vaccines, at least the two ones that have been approved now, the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines, they use messenger RNA. This is a part of the virus that is inoculated into the patient. And this part of the virus gives the crucial information to the body to fight the virus in the eventuality of getting infected. Normally, these vaccines are safe during pregnancy. But what is the issue? The, the issue that we have now with the COVID vaccine is that it was developed so quickly that it has not been um, tried in pregnant women. And in medicine, we always have to be very careful when we haven't tried things in pregnancy because we're not talking only of one patient, we're talking of two patients. So due to this, we have to be very careful. And that is why the recommendation is currently not to vaccinate pregnant women. Although since physiologically and theoretically these vaccines should be safe, there are exceptions that are being um, allowed nowadays. For example, pregnant women that have very high risks of getting COVID-19. For example, in the US, these patients are allowed to get the vaccine under their own authorization, under their own risks. At the moment in Ireland, we are not vaccinating any pregnant women, but this will probably be reassessed once we have a little more data, okay? Now, what should you do if you do not know, if you're not sure if you're pregnant or not? Then we recommend to delay the vaccination until you are sure if you're pregnant or not. If you're not pregnant, then you can get the vaccine. If you're pregnant, please wait until you deliver and then you can get that vaccination. If you are currently trying to get pregnant, the recommendation is to delay the vaccination. You know that fertility is, um, is a time sensitive medical situation um, and this vaccination can wait. And what we generally recommend, what the HSE is recommended, to delay the vaccination until you are done with your pregnancy.
Now, if you have gotten vaccination, then you should stop trying to conceive for at least two months after you receive the second dose. That will allow the body to uh, make sure that this vaccination cannot cause a problem in the pregnancy. And if you received the first dose and then got pregnant, then do not get the second dose until the pregnancy is over. Okay, those are the recommendations that are at the moment pretty universal, uh, backed by the HSC. And what I want to do is um, is take this opportunity to 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 give send a message of of, of calmness of um, of mindfulness of uh, meditation of taking this opportunity to be kind to yourself and uh, don't worry we are an essential service fertility clinics are still open they are open all over the world. We are working at 100% of our capacity. We are being very cautious and very safe. We just ask for the same measures we asked two months ago, six months ago. Social distancing, wear your masks, and sadly, until this pandemic is over, partners will not be allowed to be in the clinic to try to minimize the number of people inside. Um, I hope this video is useful. I hope this has given you some calm. I hope that I see you soon. Okay. We're working full time. Our results are better than ever. Um, so future's looking bright. Have a beautiful day, guys. Bye bye.